I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not really in on Baker Mayfield. Um, someone said it. I don't know if it was some NFL head said it, but he has done less with more than any quarterback potentially in the history of the NFL. Guy was first overall pick, right? He's, he's held to a higher standard. It would be different if he was like a fourth, fifth, sixth round pick. He's not. First overall pick. Um, they have surrounded him with weapons, uh, plentiful weapons. He's got Landry. He had Odell. He's got the tight ends. He's got the running game. Um, but against Tennessee, I watched that game, and that first half, man, Baker Mayfield was rolling. So that is making me question, am I wrong about Baker Mayfield? Uh, because honestly, I, I mean, me personally still, I'm a not a Browns fan. If I was the Cleveland Browns, is this his third year, fourth year? I don't know if they have to pick up the option. Like, I'm. this would be the time that you're starting to negotiate uh, a long-term extension. And right now, again, Baker Mayfield has plenty, plenty, plenty of weapons. And, and the big key is the running game. You could say, well, Steve, they, uh, the Titans just pretty much uh, held the run game in check and Baker lit them up in the first half. I, I got you there. Blind squirrel finds a nut every now and again. But uh, what I see when I watch Baker, I mean, if you're if you're gonna pay Baker what he's going to want, which I imagine is going to be thirty-five plus million dollars a year, uh, you're not gonna be able. His line protected him very well this week against the Titans, but you're you're not going to have Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb. You're not gonna have two top ten running backs. You're not gonna have you know two highly paid wide receivers like you. You pay a quarterback. Quarterbacks when they get paid that much need to mask some deficiencies right they need to mask some deficiencies and i feel like baker thrives when he doesn't have to mask deficiencies when it's not all on baker's shoulders like yeah he could he can make throws he can make throws if he's protected he can make throws he showed it this weekend but i don't think he could be the main focal point of a super bowl champion team and i feel like if you're the browns that's something you need to ask yourself before you go ahead and potentially pay him, you know, 35 plus million dollars a year because, you know, you're going to lock up that quarterback because you want to win a Super Bowl. So that is a big question you need to ask yourself. Me personally, I don't think that's the case. Granted, who do you sign? You know, who, who, do, who do you get? You draft a guy? I don't know. You kind of know what Baker is. You, you really don't know about guys in the draft. But me personally, if I had to sign the check, I don't. Because I don't have $35 million a year to give to a guy who's great in commercials. But I wouldn't sign that check because I don't think I can win a Super Bowl paying Baker Mayfield $35 plus million a year and him eating up, you know, a third of the salary cap. That's just me. As always, I want to hear from Browns fans. I don't have my seatbelt on, so I imagine you might tell me I'm a moron like some of the other fans out there. But I want conversation. Would you pay Baker Mayfield $35 million if you like the Browns or if he was your quarterback. Let me know below. Now see you in the next one.